Hi everybody. Um, I want it. I'm going to make a little recording for you to, to explain a little bit about your book project that's coming up. Um, your book project, you're going to have about two weeks to work on it and it will be due on Thursday, May 7th. And we will be presenting our book projects on Friday, May 8th. Um, we will be presenting via video. Usually we would present in our classroom, but since we are online learning this time, then we will be presenting in that way. So what I wanted to show you um, right now is just your, your choices. Um, so here is here are your book project ideas. So the first choice we will have is book in a box. And what you would do is take a shoe box or similar type container and you, you're going to fill it with eight different objects that represent part of your book. And you and then you will write a little bit about each object to tell why it's important to your book. Um, again, you'll have to use eight different objects inside the box and tell a little bit about each one. Um, the way that you will present this is by recording yourself on video um, to present your project. Then you will submit your video to Google Classroom by May 7th. And then on Friday, May 8th, we will have our presentations. Okay? So our next choice is a shoebox diorama. So I think a lot of you made dioramas in second grade. So you might remember what a diorama is. Um, you're going to want to take a shoe box or a similar box, like if you have an Amazon box or something, that's fine too. And you're going to create a scene from your book, an important scene. Um, and then you'll also write a little paragraph about it. And when you're ready, you'll make a video of yourself presenting your project. And we will all enjoy that um, during our presentation. Okay, the next choice you have would be to make a collage. Um, a collage looks, you know, it's a bit like a poster. Um, you have to use at least 15 different pictures um, that represent important parts of your book. And what you'll want to do for each picture is write a little something about it and tell why um, it's why, what it represents from your book. Um, and again, you would record yourself on video um, presenting your project. Okay, the next project. Um, I know this one says PowerPoint, but you would actually use Google Slides to make a slide presentation. So... Um, what it says here um, is that your slide presentation would have to include at least seven slides. And it says right here what each slide would include. So slide one would be an introduction, slide two would be the setting, and so on. Uh, each slide should include a title, a background, text and pictures. If you look at the uh, these examples over here on the right, you can kind of get an idea of what a completed slide might look like. And when you're done, you will submit your slides to Google Classroom again so that we can present our projects on May 8th. And the final choice will be digital storytelling if you want to use iMovie or Adobe Spark to create your book project. Uh, then you may do that. Um, so if you're going to do an iMovie or Adobe Spark, over here on the left, this is what your video must include, the title, the author, the setting, the plot, which is what happens in the story without giving it away, um, your favorite part, and would you recommend this book and why or why not? Um, and then I give you some helpful hints over here. Okay, so those are your book project choices. Um, I want you just to be thinking about that over the weekend. The, pro the, the project choices will be included in your Google Slides that you get on Monday. So then you'll have all the information that you need um, that your project will have to include. So um, all I want you to do this weekend is to think about what project you might want to do and um, maybe even start gathering 
the supplies that you'll need to finish your to do your project. Okay, so as always, just reach out to me if um, you have any questions or you need some help. I'm always here for you. So um, I hope you have some good fun with the project. And I can't wait to see um, what everybody comes up with um, on May 8th when we present. Bye.